Okay, it's Photoshop Friday again, and I want to change up the theme. I realize I've been appealing to the gamers and memers of the class while leaving the outdoorsy students out. I apologize. I know not all of you are into creating tasty memes about video games, so today I'm going to show you how to do something useful in Photoshop. Impress people on social media by altering your photos. I'm trying to flex on my coworkers by showing off how big a fish I caught, but I can't compete with Mr. Metzinger, who actually puts time and effort into this hobby. I've got kids. I don't have time to do that much fishing and play video games. What I do have, though, is Photoshop skills. If I can't beat Metz at fishing IRL, maybe I can impress him in cyberspace. And as we know, that's actually more important. So let's talk about some ways we can use Photoshop to boost my social media likes and interactions. First up, we could zoom in on the fish, but that would crop out the baby. And babies are huge on social media. Moms love babies. So got to keep that in there. We could crop it up some to get rid of my dad water shoes. Those are definitely losing me cool points. What are those? Instead of doing those things, let's focus on the center point of this picture, the fish. This fish, it's a decent keeper size spec, but we we need to boost this. This is this is an average fish. We want this to be uh, eye grabbing. We want people to stop in the middle of their scroll and and be impressed. So let's make this fish a big fish. The first thing I'm going to do is unlock the background. That's going to allow me to do all sorts of different things to the picture. And if it was locked, I wouldn't be able to. That's your first step. I'm going to select the fish next using the quick select tool, which lives over here. If yours says object select, right click on it and come to here where it says quick select. You might need to adjust the size. As you see, mine was at 30. I'm going to adjust it down to 12 pixels so it's easier for me to color in the fish. And Photoshop will try and detect edges for you, but it's not always that great, especially with something like a fish on a green background. It's naturally made to blend in. Uh, you see, I'm going to leave my hands there because if we made it large, it would also make my hands look large, and that would be a dead giveaway to Metzinger that I photoshopped this. Got the fish selected. If you need to zoom in, you can. I could see that I didn't get all of his face in there, so you could fine tune this. We want to get every pixel we can. So the tool we're going to use is one we've used before. We're going to go to Edit, Free Transform, and it'll give us a bounding box around the fish. If you click and drag, it will make the fish larger. And you can reposition it like so. You know, we, we want this to look somewhat believable. We've got to fool at least a few people. It doesn't matter if you don't fool everyone. Um, as long as you get the gullible people, it's, it's a win. And uh, this fish is kind of skinny, so if you hold shift, you could make it fatter. There we go. Now that is looking bigger. And I'm going to get get him there, and then I'm going to click the check mark to place him. So you might notice that we have a little problem because the fish is now showing through the background. And I cut my fingers off. No problem. Always remember in Photoshop, if you mess up, you can go to File, Revert. This will take your picture back to how it originally looked. So let's try this again. This time, I'm going to unlock the background layer and select the fish. But I'm going to copy the fish to its own layer. So go through and select your fish again using the quick select tool. So before I make the fish big, I'm going to right click and tell it to make it a new layer via copy. And that will move the fish off to its own layer, but it'll still leave the fish behind it. So then I'm going to come to this layer and go to file, edit, then down to free transform. 
now when I make the fish larger, you can see that the fish behind it is still there. So that makes it a little easier. cover up the spots there we go so I'm gonna just try and align it a little bit like so that's good enough for grandma all right now this is a citation size fish yeah <laughs> look at the size of that sucker take that Mets some of you might be saying well you could see the other fin, and it's blurry, and it's obviously photoshopped. But you're forgetting that once you zoom out, and this picture's a lot smaller on a cell phone screen, and somebody's just scrolling by, they won't even notice. They'll just see a big fish and my cute kid, and they might give me the like. So today, your Photoshop Friday assignment is to make a larger fish. I want you to find a picture of someone holding a fish. It could be you. It could be someone you know. It could be a random kid off the internet. I don't care, but you'll find a picture of someone holding a fish. You will make the fish larger, and somehow it will be both believable and yet obviously photoshopped. This is not an easy assignment, but it is a fun one. So get to it. I can't wait to see how good you are at lying to people on social media.